Javed Ansari, executive editor, is live with us in the studio at this point in time. Uh, five crucial agreements in the sector of health, clean energy, women, development, roads, the Kyoto Varanasi agreement being signed. But really the significance more is that both leaders have talked about how in India and Japan together are going to lead the world in the 21st century, which clearly belongs to Asia. How do you think China is going to respond to this? It will be interesting to watch how China responds. But you know, uh, relations with Japan are not at the expense of any other country. There are different relationships which you share. And as mature nations, I'm sure both China and India will be able to, uh, will be able to live with this. As far as Indo-Japan relations are concerned, they've received a tremendous fillip evidently from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. The Prime Minister seems extremely gung-ho with all the agreements that he's signed and whatever he's achieved. Although there, there is no nuclear deal in the works, uh, that still eludes. But yes, both India and Japan have agreed to, to work and cooperate in matters of defense and security. Well, absolutely. Matters of defense and security topping that agenda there. Thank you, Javed Ansari, for joining us with that perspective. We, of course, will continue to track developments on that crucial visit. We'll continue to track the speeches of both leaders, analyze them for you, break it down through the course of the day all day on Headlines Today.